Tonight, evacuees are still showing up to the newest evacuation site in Nevada, the Reno Sparks Convention Center. Yeah, just yesterday, some families were told to leave the Gardnerville location and head to the mass evacuation site. But but why is that? CBS 13's Renee Santos is live at the convention center getting answers for us. Renee. Tony, so what happened at that Gardnerville site is what the Red Cross calls consolidation right now. We don't know if that will happen again, but what we do know is that there's still room here at the convention center. I left with my uh, friend and her mom. It was a moment of crisis for Timothy Pritchard, who left his South Lake Tahoe home of 13 years just days ago. He's now getting help at the Reno Sparks Convention Center, the newest evacuation site for people forced to evacuate. As the Caldor fire continues to burn in the Tahoe Basin. And it really hit me. It was a rude awakening. On Tuesday, people at the Gardnerville shelter were told to leave and relocate to the convention center with nearly no warning. So we asked the Red Cross why. Well, the reasoning behind it is because we could be much more efficient, for one thing. And another reason is because of staffing. Kim Mills with the Red Cross says volunteers are stretched thin across the country. While fires rage across California, help is also being provided in Louisiana, where Hurricane Ida left people without power, stuck surrounded by devastation. I didn't, I didn't even think I'd get evacuated. I was there for the Angora fire. Brandon Canfield is a South Lake Tahoe native, born and raised. The place he calls home is now filled with empty streets and storefronts, with fire crews staged throughout the Tahoe Basin, keeping a close watch on flames that could force more evacuations. Despite the unknown, Timothy is ready for what lies ahead, waiting to get back home. It's going to be smelling like smoke, it's going to be ashes, and you just have to clean up and take care of it. So we're also learning from the Red Cross. The convention center here has more room for people. They say the air quality here, in fact, is a lot better for evacuees, and it's a lot easier for Red Cross staff members and volunteers to assist all those evacuees, evacuees under one roof, one site, rather than having multiple sites at different locations.